This is why we didn't have so much time. To I am actually trying. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't be drunk for these. <laughs> <laughs> you shut your whore mouth. Don't you dare cuss at that. No, yeah, like, yeah. I heard you were going to say it. It just, whenever it came out of my mouth, it, it felt like throw up. <laughs> <laughs> Cold open. Oh, absolutely. All of that. <laughs> Again, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Hammer of the Gods. Last time we ended, you guys had gone into the hut, and then Nicholas had eaten some spoiled food, and Jonas had as well. And then Nicholas kept eating it, even though he got food poisoning. So because I was charmed by the thing. Sure, <laughs> sure. That's why. <laughs> totally the reason. Yeah. So we ended the session with Sergios being grabbed by some kind of amorphous appendage as he was being drugged into the toothy maw of this cauldron, or the, the BBC, the big black cauldron, if you will. Fucker. <laughs> God damn, I've seen it coming, too. <laughs> All right, so I need everyone to roll initiative. Come on, watermelon sugar oh, dice. Shit. Yep, I picked it out. Fucking nat 20, baby! Nice. I got a 9. <laughs> I got a 13. Niner, niner. Is Mikro still acting on my turn? Yes. Do you want me to roll Sorry. for him? Uh, no, he's acting on your turn. Okay. Hold on. I'm looking. Okay. Hey, what'd you get? Am I here now? Or do we want to explain that? Oh, fuck. Yeah, You're not there. Not God damn yeah. it. I forgot. <laughs> horse dick comes charging in. Oh yeah, it is totally canon that your fucking nickname is horse dick. Jonas, what'd you get? Fuck no, I ain't. Yes, fuck y'all. 22. Wow. I know. I've never oh. rolled that high on an initiative in my life. She does it over for you. Yeah, I was like, oh, I forgot to add my initiative bonus, and then I'm like, oh, yeah. that's an add. Um, yeah. Seth, I need you to roll again. You are going to do a roll off. That is six. Dun, 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 Well. Cool. So you go before she does. Of the 213. Sergios, you go first, followed by Jonas. What do you do? So. Obviously, because given from what happened in the last episode, I'm worked up because these two were eating it and not seeing that it was spoiled and whatnot and right. the danger they were putting themselves in. And now that we're in initiative, I'm going to go ahead and rage. Okay. My Keep first. in mind you are grappled. Yep. So, with that, I might need the player's handbook because... I don't know if I get advantage on rolls like that. I think you do on strength checks. I think so too. Yeah, um, I want someone with a. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Nate. Thank you, Nate. Getting all clinical with my gameplay now. I'm fucking Rick's worst nightmare. Because. <laughs> <laughs> used to be, I was like, I'm going to do this, and he's like, I don't know if you can do that. No, like, oh, my okay. worst nightmare is John saying, I don't know anything about my character. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I have I advantage. <laughs> I'm just giving you shit. <laughs> I have advantage on strength okay. checks, and, uh... Plus two? Plus two is my rage bonus, yes. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's strength saving throws. I was just looking at it on either card. Yeah, strength checks and strength saving rolls. I have advantage Sweet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a strength check. He wasn't looking. <laughs> like John looked look at right me. at it though. That's what pissed me off. Is like I tried to hand it to John. John's like, mm -hmm, that's have, the player's handbook. Have you met him? <laughs> have you met him? So I'm gonna go ahead and make a, I guess, strength check to get out of the grapple. Yep. If I can. <laughs> so 14 plus my strength is plus two plus rage. So that's a 16. 
and I'm proficient in strength saving throws, so that's an 18 altogether. Plus two from my strength bonus, plus my two proficiency bonus, plus two from the rage. Okay, so <laughs> you battle with this appendage. Mm-hmm. I mean, you guys are just like pushing and pulling, and you just see as it, it, it has deliberately turned you to face it as it's drawing you towards its mouth. And you manage to just muscle your way out. It takes a, a good solid five seconds. Okay. So most of your turn. Most of my turn. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can attack after that, after doing that. Yeah. Okay, so Mikros is going to charge on his attack. Okay. Uh, 20 foot straight line, 1d6. I don't... Yeah, I'll say you can get 20 feet. 20 feet. Okay, that's an 11. Plus... What, what what would I add to that? Sorry. Mm. I'm looking at that. Does it not say? Uh, n- no. Okay, let me double check. It may not be plus anything. Yeah. I mean, is it going to beat its AC? It depends. Oh, yeah, I can't ask you that. I'm trying to peek behind the screen here. <laughs> Metagaming. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Unintentionally metagaming because I'm a piece of shit. Um, let's call it plus two. Plus two. Okay. Probably write that down. So that's 13, yeah. Yeah, so that will hit. Okay. But um, make sure you write that. Yeah, I'm going to write it down. I need a player's handbook that got taken from me. I have hard service to write. You fucking gave I it know, to me. I know. <laughs> you bitched about him not taking it. <laughs> that's three damage. Three damage? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, it's Jonas. Am I still charmed? Yes. You okay. have necklace. So do I know anything that's happening with the... Oh, you know everything that's happening. The tongue. You just... It's distorted in your mind. You're like, oh, yeah, Sergios is just, like, playing with this oh, cauldron. He's just... No, he's just trying to do naughty things to this little thing that popped out of the... <laughs> I just okay. continue to eat. That's, that's one interpretation. I'm here for it. Oh. I just didn't see that one coming. I'm into it. <laughs> you would be. Don't you always. Are, are you into it? I might have to check my XMXX history. So what are you doing? Tentacle porn. I continue. If I'm still charmed and I don't really think anything of it, I'm just going to continue to eat my soup. Okay, so you continue Wait. to eat your rotten soup. Can we check the notes? Because I'm pretty sure I knocked that shit out of both yeah. of their hands. Doesn't mean they're not. Out of both or just, ju- or just uh. Oh, I mean, they can still try it. Like, fair enough. I thought I got you too, Jonos. I might you, you spilled it. I remember it spilled okay. from the notes. Can't, anyway. We can't decipher the um, notes. So, is, Jonas, all, is all of it spilled? Uh, I mean, it's on the floor, so you could, like, scoop it off the floor. I mean, yeah. That that's, seems that's logical to your current brain. Yeah. Oh. I'm just gonna reach down and get all this you dropped, man. So, at the end of your turn, uh, make a save. Is it wisdom? I think it was wisdom. I think so. Yeah, it make a wisdom a save. Okay. That was for the food poisoning. Yeah. Right. With the constitution. Uh. Oh, minus one, so 15. <laughs> that passes, so you are no longer charmed. Hooray! Woohoo! So you guys are facing the witches right now in their no. house? No. They're fighting a cauldron. <laughs> Big black cauldron. Or, well, they think it's a cauldron. A BBC, if you will. Yeah. It's almost like I made that joke. And then someone else made that joke. And someone else made that well, joke. Well, that's going to be a running joke this episode until this a cauldron. cauldron with a gaping mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna move on. That's what's and, uh, written in my notes from. So they're fighting a pot. Cauldron has gaping mouth, trying to eat Sergius. That uh, was the last fucker. thing I had from last week. <laughs> so it is the creature's turn, and uh, Sergius, you've pissed it off, so oh, it's going to come after you. Try to grapple me. Yep. Really? Yep. Okay, so that's a strength saving throw? Yep. You want to go down that road? I do. 
You only have perfect. Or do you have advantage on saving throws? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Strength. What'd you get? You have to tell me first. <laughs> Sixteen. Cool. It doesn't grapple you. Okay. I think. Hold on. I got a ten plus my strength is plus two plus my proficiency is plus two, so that's twelve. Fourteen. Ooh. Plus my rage gives me a bonus of plus two. So. So I, I fucked up earlier. It I actually had grapple. Earlier. Well, it, it actually had uh, grapple advantage. That's so. actually a fourteen. So. It's hmm. not 16, because it's plus 2 damage, not plus 2 on the... Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I would have only got six out of 16 both times. No. 14 this time, 16 last time. Yeah, I'm thinking... Too late, you already said I was free. No, I didn't. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not this time, but the first time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the first time, for sure. I'm not you going back. Yeah, I'm not going back that far. Um, so, I'm going to say it's got you grappled, but... <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's because you guys tired on that. Oh, okay. So maybe not like grapple, but we're in like yeah, yeah. I mean, like a fighting. He's got my attention, and my hands aren't free to attack because yes, I'm busy. Exactly. So, so basically grapple, but not fully. We're grappling. I'm not grappled. Sure. All oh, uh, wrestling terms. You still got your clothes on. This is like your priest. Oh, that's true. Are you sure, though? After last episode, pre coming to the witches? <laughs> I forgot about that. His tunic was soaked with pre cum. I got charmed. That's how he learned about watermelon sugar. That's right. Yep. I, I it's all coming got back charmed to me. by some harpies, and we rolled for horniness, and I got a natural 20. Also, Sergios yeah. has a three inch dick. But only being three foot tall, it's pretty good. That's like 10% of your whole body. Yeah. I swear, one, I swear one of these times he's just going to try to cut, reach up and re, and like grab my huevos. I swear. Oh, he's not going to try. Oh, he's gonna I will. It. Anyway. Um, so that is the he's end of the creature's turn. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Moving on from that. Akmon, it's your turn. <laughs> Try coming back from that image. Yeah. Still thinking about it. It's right in my head. Um, well, this doesn't look like much of a threat. It's just a pot. <laughs> I'm going to shoot it with Fireball. Okay. B O L T? Yes. Or, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had this conversation last time. Oh, he what? doesn't Don't have worry. Fireball yet. I rolled a 19, does that hit? That uh, does. Cool. Internet. Okay, I hit it for 4 damage. Nice. I'm say that again, I was talking. What? Oh, uh, yeah, can you say that again? Yeah, I hit the um, creature for 4 damage. Cool. And I'm. Where am I in relation to it? How close am I? Uh, probably like. Between 10 and 20 feet, so like 15. Okay, I'm going to back up like 15 feet. Okay. So get like 45 feet away from it. Wait. You're about 15 feet away from it, so if you back up 15 feet... Oh, I thought it was 30 feet. Okay. I'll back up till I'm 45 feet away. Okay, so you're going to move your full movement. Yep. Cool. All right. Athos. Okay, am I by him, or, I mean, where he was initially? Yeah, I mean, you guys are all more or less in the same vicinity. Okay. So. Just grab the cat. Just grab the cat. No, we, just, we just grab it. Thank you. We just <laughs> firmly grasp it. <laughs> the lid. Just don't ask questions about what he's pointing towards you. Just firmly grasp it. I, 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 like I tightened it too down. I can... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So I want to cast Ensnaring Strike. Your Divine uh, Smite? No, Ensnaring or... Strike. Okay. Is that just one of your spells? It's just a spell I have. Okay. I was just making sure because I thought that your uh, 
That's divine. Channel divinity, that's what it is. Oh, no, it's not one of my channel divinities. Okay, I had for some reason some titles, what you were talking about. No, I just want to cast this spell. Okay. Um, actually, I'd like to move back, like, ten feet, mm-hmm. and then cast this spell. Mm-hmm. Um... And then the so the next time I hit a creature with a weapon attack before the spell ends, it's a minute duration. Mm-hmm. Um, a writhing mass of thorny vines appears at the point of impact, and the target must succeed on a strength saving throw or be restrained by magical vines until the spell ends. Okay, cool. And that's a bonus action, so, oh, so I technically you could still attack. Okay, well, instead of moving back. I want to move forward. <laughs> okay. So just Guys. negate that. Um, Can you one more time? So just negate that movement. Okay. Um, I'll go and attack the creature with my battle axe. Okay. My lampress. Yeah. Well, you could just call it the battle axe. I know. <laughs> All right. That is decent. Uh, 23. Okay, that'll hit. For sure. Uh, is it decent or is it fucking decent? It's decent. It's decent. Fucking A. That's a good looking kitty right there. You don't add anything to that, right? Just regular. Like my claws I add. Yeah, you would add your list. Okay. So that'll be five. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Alright, so next would be Nicholas. Your turn. God damn it, John. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, first of all, I'm still charmed, right? Yes. So I don't get to do the saving throw until after my turn. Yes. Or, okay. So I guess I'm just going to go like a lunatic with my spoon in hand. Go for the stuff that's still on the floor, but I'm not going to use my my spoon. I'm just going to try to slurp it up right off the floor like a madman. Not surprised, actually. No. That's kind of what I pictured happening. Yeah. Before you like <laughs> seen that one coming. When this session started, I was like, "That's going to happen." <laughs> <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? Just cry over it? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, oh, then. Dude, we had some conversations that would make you cry over spilt milk today in class. Oof. All right. Well. Let's move on from that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all dairy related, like. <laughs> Overspilt milk, huh? So what's over your milk? No, it was basically like, if you fucking milk a penicillin cow and make your tank hot, which means you have antibiotics in your tank, if they don't, basically if it doesn't get caught before the truck makes it to the processing plant, mm-hmm. you bought that truck of milk, which is about 10 I was I was just saying, you know, right. quite overspilt milk from... Dairy farm stories? Yeah. There's legit milk. reason to cry over spilled milk. Yeah. Exactly. That is yeah. one of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so make your saving throw, your wisdom save. Come on. Oh, dang it. Mm, I can't really count that. Not, not with a good conscience. Ooh, hey. That's better. Okay, wisdom plus two, so I got 18. Cool. You are no longer charmed. You find yourself on your hands and knees, just licking this floor, and you're like, what the fuck? You also have never had so much pain in your stomach in your life. What the fuck happened to me? (laughs) And then just a wave of like this rock. Yeah. What was that? I just dropped it. Oh, smooth. (laughs) Everyone stopped and looked at Nate, and he's like, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> can I roll to throw up? Yeah, John, you can roll to throw up <laughs> since you asked so nicely. I mean, would, in his defense, would that be a low number or a high number? In his defense, because if he yeah. feels he feels better if he yeah. pukes. I was gonna you know. say, there's been many times I've been drunk and sneaked off and puked and came back to party. Right? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> it's the second win. Let that be a lesson to everyone listening. There is no shame throwing up, all right, while you're drinking out with buddies, oh, all right? I definitely made myself throw up. Exactly. It's like, so I... if you can gain a second wind and go oh, on for a few more that hours, that one that's <laughs> Which one? That one. Oh. The one we met. Oh, okay. 
Because they would one after that. Challenging people to Was a that really dance the first time you guys met? Yeah, yeah that was. At Midnight Rodeo? I really thought you met him before, yeah. though. No. This is how the his, this is how the this is how my night went. Zach, meet John. John, meet Zach. Bartender, hey. Hey. Buy meet one John's beer, wallet. Get a second one free. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden you came in. Here's some shots. <laughs> the tape is blank. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Up church play. No one hits the dance floor. No. One. <laughs> one. It's the dance floor. The dance floor. <laughs> Everyone else. The entire leaves. bar to a dance. Floor. Oh, and also, also, <laughs> flash fight. I pissed. Flash fight. I yeah. pissed the uh, DJ off right because now. I told him I what? said that's bullshit oh. that we're in a cowboy bar and you refuse to pay oh, play yeah. Keith Whitley. Uh, I can make myself more. Oh, so uh, <laughs> while we're in this little lapse, Rick, you missed it, and everyone else missed it. I shouldn't have made the buffle. Bubbles impression because now all I can think of is Sergio's fight in this cauldron being like, Boys, boys, it's fucking got me, boys. And fucking tell me this greasy bastard's done got a hold of me. I don't know what I'm gonna fucking do. Uh, that's fantastic. All right. By the way, I rolled a four for Constitution. What's yeah, you barf everywhere. <laughs> No, we agree. Yeah, we already we had have, to get. Is, yeah, we you have, don't get to use your own vomit sound, John. We already have the vomit sound from episode one. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's, that. that's canon. That's everyone's vomit sound. Sorry, I children, forgot. monsters, gods, John. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Solid. Yeah, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Okay, so it is, I think, back to Sergio. It is back to Sergio. So, okay, question. Yeah. A little bit of metagaming. No problem. Okay. <laughs> well, can I, so like, we're in, we're tied, so he doesn't have me grappled. Yeah. But can I have Mikro's attack first to turn his attention so I may attack? Yeah, I'll allow it. Okay, so Sergio's, or er, uh, Mikro's is going to go first. He is going to use his Tusk attack. Okay. Ooh, that's an 11. That does not hit. Okay. So, strength savings throw for Sergio? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You win. Yeah, I was going to say 15. Oh, no, you win. So. It rolled a 1. Right. You win. So, question then. Yeah. With the rolls, mm -hmm. since it was a tie the last time. So I wasn't technically grappled. I'm still going to say you cannot make an attack. You could move, but you cannot make an attack. Okay, so I'm going to move back. You did roll a one, though, so... That True. was kind of... Yeah, that's where but I, that I means don't want a metagame, well, but and it failed so bad so the that one, I could attack. So the one is it's just an call. automatic fail. It's right. not necessarily a critical fail. Because, like, a lot of times that, I don't give no. you guys, like, a, a massive penalty for right, a right, one. Right, right, right. It's usually just, like, no, you, you automatically miss. Fair. Or, like, you get a bug in your eye. Yeah, no, that's that's totally fair. That's why I asked. So yeah. I'd like to move yeah. back about five feet from it. Oh, just five? To, to DM metagame, just five? Yeah, because I don't have any ranged attacks. So I don't want to get too far from it to where I can attack okay. with my Warhammer or Copus. Yeah, that's fair. So this has been two rounds, right? Uh, this is, yeah, the second round. Wait. Oh, for I'm your, metagaming for, your for my rage. rage yeah. No, that's actually not metagame. That's just okay. Yeah, I'm just playing the game. Correct. Taking mental note for my rage. Appreciate it. Yep. Okay. Uh, so Jonas, you are next. Um, and I'm like within striking distance of it. The thing that I recognize now is. Uh, you not... you didn't move last turn, right? No. Okay, so you're about 15 feet away from it. About 15 feet away from yeah. it. So I come to a realization of what's actually happening. Holy oh yeah, crap. you you have already realized. <laughs> I've already watching realized. these other people go. <laughs> All right, well, I pull out my shield and my crossbow, and I attempt to take a shot. At this <laughs> crazy thing. I'd have done it if it was yours too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, John. Can you repeat literally all of that? Because Zach was drinking, Kara's drank, and I I didn't catch most of what you said. Actually, I'm but sorry. After she tackled me at Gunny's, all bets are off. <laughs> I 
pull out my shield and crossbow, and I try to take a shot at this creature. Cool. 21 to hit. Yeah, that'll that'll definitely hit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not once, but Five twice. Five damage. What? Five damage. Oh, that's not bad, though. That's basically all anyone has done is consistently five, 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 five on this. <laughs> yeah, it's been five or lower. Yeah. Mikro's only got three. But there have been several exactly fives, so... Yeah, yeah which yeah. is funny. Yeah. yeah. This was a slot machine. You guys would be winning. The five five. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here somebody, for it. Somebody recognize that. Oh, or, nobody else really listens to yeah. Nadpod, so. The five tribe. Oh, I didn't know it was a Nadpod thing. I was trying well, to Well, it's not, but like the two crew, yeah. three crew, five four tribe. four, five tribe. Yeah. yeah. They haven't done that in years, so. That's a, That's a not original. Can what? I give a. As a bonus action, can I give um, an inspiration die to Sergios? Can you do that as a bonus action? Yes. Then yeah, absolutely. Oh, um, and you can use it for bardic, like as an inspiration or as combat inspiration. Yes. So, thank you. Yeah. If you want to add that to a weapon damage roll or yeah, what it, a reaction what roll. Uh, it's a D six. D six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because he uh, at level three got that ability where it can be added to damage or basically almost anything. Right. I'm just so, writing it down so I yeah. know I have it. Fair. Yeah, I think someone else had one, but if you didn't write it down, then it sucks to suck. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, it's fine. Everything's fine. So it is the creature's turn, and so it starts to shift from this cauldron-like shape into just a blob. Dave. Why some's getting flashbacks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's not a it's not a cube. Oh. There's no cube. Just a blob. <laughs> Still move though. <laughs> oh god, I saw that coming. Seth, were you here for that? I don't think you were. He wasn't. Oh, uh, yeah, John almost got eaten by a gelatinous cube, because he, well, he he got swallowed by it, but he didn't get eaten. that was my best freaking day ever. <laughs> swallowed by it? Yeah, it because he just stood there, and it was, like, moving 15 feet per turn. Everyone else was moving and, like, getting out of the way, and he just, he kept standing there, shooting at it. You can just imagine him just looking at, at it with, like, a dumb face. Just yeah, like... yeah, because I was like, all right, so it moves up, and it swallows you. <laughs> at, at one point you said it went through a door and I just had a middle image of my character just with this weird look on his face just kind of being pushed through like, <laughs> jello through a doorway. Just, eh. you, you are part of the octopus at that point. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine the guy from Austin Powers screaming at the <laughs> steamroller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Exactly like that. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Okay. So, <laughs> way to go, Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, it's the blob's turn. Right. It is. Yeah. Sorry, I was reading for a second. Okay. Um. So now, Jonas, you're up next to it, right? You said I was 15 feet away, so I just used my ranged weapon. Okay. And I, pulled out I, my I shield. Remember. Yeah, I was just trying to clarify who had moved up and who hadn't. No, I didn't move. Okay. So, it is going to actually attack Mikros. <gasps> you bastard! <laughs> he doesn't get advantage either. He doesn't. Okay. You get plus two, too. Well, plus four. Actually, 20? Yeah! Nice! <laughs> Yeah. Way to go, watermelon sugar dice. So, Mikros just kind of like tusks it as it's trying to just end up, like, it turns into this, how do I describe it? 
like the the tendril that comes out tries to spread out around him and just encircle him and he just like keeps stabbing it with his tusks as he just backs up okay sweet yeah so it how is how dare you come after me gross <laughs> you bastard it is Akmon this is the coolest Pokemon fight ever <laughs> um um before you go Akmon Sergios is gonna let you be like kill it kill it with fire <laughs> oh, I will I will <laughs> that's my boy uh, He's already tried once. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use Chromatic Orb. Okay. And can I use my Tides of Chaos? Uh, remind me what that does. I get advantage on one attack. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Then I'm going to use Tides of Chaos on my Chromatic Orb. Uh, it's cool. a 19. And that's an 18. Plus yeah. Four, so I mean, that'll hit, probably. Absolutely. <laughs> Seeing as lower numbers have hit, yeah, I would yeah. say so. An 11 hits it? Do I have <laughs> Metamagic yet? No, 11, 13. 13. Yeah. What? Do I have Metamagic yet? I believe so. You should. Allegedly. Okay, I think I'm just gonna... I'm gonna blow a lot of shit on this. Um... Can I twin spell it and hit it with both of the spells? So you're going to chromatic... blow a lot of stuff on the BBC? Oh, yeah. He's going to blow his load on this BBC. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to spray. But now it's a BBB. Big black blob? Big blue blob. Blue? Okay, you didn't I specify did. that it I changed did. colors. Don't worry. Now you know. You know the more you know. You know. Uh, <laughs> is the chromatic orb a single target spell? You hurl a four-inch Tamaris spear in J. Yes, it cool. is. Then yeah, you can twin it. Oh, fuck. Okay. I'm going to choose lightning damage. Cool. I hope that's right. <laughs> yeah, what is the question? Uh, hold on, Seth. What? Um, so, uh, just canon gameplay that we always do. Since... My boy is about to hit this blob with lightning damage. Mm -hmm. Should I roll horniness or proudness? Since I am a oh. Zeus devotee. Well, let's let's see how he does. Okay. See how he do. Okay. All right, do your thing. Okay. Do I roll for the damage separately? Yeah. Okay. So the first one hit for ten. Cool. And the second one hit for nine. Jesus. Okay. Nice. I look like fucking Darth Plagueis right now. Just lightning coming out of my fingertips. You mean Palpatine? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Cold open. Cold open. Cold open. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah. Sergios, roll for horniness. That is a seven. Mm. You've seen better lightning. What do I add to it, though? Uh, charisma? Charisma or constitution. Charisma. So that's me. <laughs> <laughs> you have seen better lightning. But still proud? Mm, like, Almost. a quarter chub. Okay. It, like, stirs oh. a little bit. I, kind of, I can feel a pulse. I can feel a pulse down there. God damn it, you laugh, but you know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, we're gonna move on from that. Athos! <laughs> Is this still active or no? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's still right next to me, basically. Yeah. I wanna attack it with my battle axe again. That's in the two screen. Oh, it wasn't. That's right. They rolled a 20. Well, I miss wildly. Go ahead. I got a 3. You rolled 3, 3. Yeah. Um... Let me make sure I'm done. Okay. Um, can I use my protection fighting style 
as my bonus action. No, it's I have to use my reaction. I mean, you could use your reaction though whenever it makes an attack again. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Cool. All right. So after Athos. So, do I feel all right after I threw up? You can do stuff. You're fine. I just want to make sure I got all my wits about me. Not your guts, but so your wits. Yeah. John, I've known you long enough. I've never known that moment where you have it your wits about you. <laughs> I have my moments, thank you very much. How far away am I from it? Uh, about 20 feet. I'm going to use Elder Blast because with it... Elder Blast? That is his book, I think. No, that's Nate's book. I was being a smart ass. Uh, yeah. That's that, that was a joke. Eldritch Blast? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't Eldritch Blast. listening. Okay. Blast. I can't remember which dice are... Because uh, I don't have cards. Okay, so... Roll d20 and make sure it hits, right? Yeah. Right, my attack bonus. It... Well, there it is. That's, that's... Okay, got it. Sorry. Yeah. I don't think I hit because I rolled a 10. Well, you add your... Charisma, because you're a uh, warlock. Plus your proficiency. Okay, that's uh, that's an you hit. plus plus proficiency two. So that's fourteen. Your charisma is only 13. a plus one. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all together thirteen. That definitely hits. They do. They do. Sweet. Okay, so it takes one d ten damage. It's all good. All right. I only do two damage to it. Cool. As this round ends, you hear cackling laughter <laughs> from all around you. Everyone does. And you hear, <laughs> we have your friend. Come find him if you can. And the creature in front of you, a door opens underneath it and it drops. The door quickly closes. And then the wall behind it, because, you know, it's a cauldron and a fireplace, the wall behind it opens into a hallway. A Mount Meekers and go. Okay. I was going to make a smart-ass joke, but decided against it. Seeing where you're going with that. Picking up what you're putting down. All right. So, yeah, Sergio, you're up first, though. You're not technically an initiative, but you're up first on okay. initiative. Well, I'm just gonna, like, can I make a perception check to see, like, or can you paint the picture better of what? What you see beyond? Yes. Is okay. it just pure black or, no, or uh, pure darkness? You can, no, you can see the hallway. Okay, okay. Um, like, is it lit by torches? Where this door has opened, where the cauldron once was, beyond it you can see... The hearth. Yeah. Yeah. Not the cauldron, because the cauldron was moving around. No. There's been a lot of build in this hallway. What does it look like? It looks like a hallway. <laughs> I keep getting interrupted, that's why. <laughs> so, beyond, you don't see the source of light, but it is lit, and you can see this just wood paneled. Uh, it looks like a typical cottage kind of interior, and it seems to round a bend that you cannot see. What is beyond? I mean, I'm gonna go down the hallway to save horse dick. Okay. Guys. Uh, you said something about a perception check, though? Oh, yeah. Well, it was more like what I could... I was gonna do a perception. Okay. Perception is... Oh, that hurts. That's a dirty one. Oof. Okay, if anyone else would like to make a perception check, you are more than welcome. Yes, please. Yes. Ooh, um, I'm gonna go ahead and say I know the answer is yes. Is my danger sense to you? <laughs> yeah, I rolled a six. <laughs> you say you got a five? Did I have to roll a 17? Oh, you got a 17. That is not what I heard. I heard five. <laughs> Jonas, what'd you get? A ten. Okay. So, in the hallway, um, your seventeens, so Akmon and Athos, mm -hmm. 
Um, oh, I got an 11. Oh, I could have sworn I was asking if Athos got a 17. Oh, yes, yeah. Athos did. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. the single 17. Uh, so, Athos, you see what looks like maybe a doorway to the right inside of the open door. Um, but it's, it seems like it's a, a hidden door, possibly. Everyone else, you just see the hallway and nothing of note. Okay. Um, I would like to go over to this hidden door. Okay. And see if it will open. Okay. So, roll an investigation for me. That's an 11. Alright, okay. yeah. I mean, it's not I that... Minus one. Yeah, it, it's not... Since you know it's there, it's not that hard to figure out. Um, so you kind of feel around on the wall until you press one spot that it just slides open automatically. Hey, hey guys! Mm-hmm. I think I found I found a I found a secret door. You want to come look at it? Sergio looks at it. Yes, cool. this is a door. I would like to go through the. What's <laughs> a secret door? Oh, I want to go inside the secret door. Secret tunnel. <laughs> God damn it. I don't remember how the rest of it goes. Me neither. But... <laughs> I just remember secret tunnel, secret tunnel, and then that's as far as... I think that's that's literally, that's literally what the guys say. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, there's more to it, but like that's the end of the song. Yeah. yeah. That's the joke job. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, so beyond this door, Athos... You see a round room um, with an opening to the right and then a narrow passage straight ahead. Uh, Seems like you would have to turn sideways and kind of squeeze through to get through the narrow passage. Okay. Um. And the rest of you can see this after, you know, she advances through. Empty room? Yep. Okay. As far as you can tell, yeah. Um, well, first I'm going to investigate this opening to the right. Okay. So you look down the passage to the right, and it, it seems pretty identical to everything you guys have seen so far. Um, it then turns to the left. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to turn back to the party and be like, do you want to go down this or do you want to squeeze down the tunnel? So I, I see the, the gears grinding there. All right, you guys go through the, the secret door, right? All right. You go straight through the secret door. Ahead of you, is it? I figured it out. We go, we turn right, which would be well, like towards the cabin. There's room to the right. Okay. okay. You guys went through the initial, the hearth door, almost directly to the right yeah. is the secret door. Yes. Through the secret door, straight ahead is a very narrow passage. Yes. To the right is another hallway. Yes. And that's as far as you guys have gotten. Okay. I no one's you... gone down it or anything. I thought else. you said there was, when she looked into the room, there was an offshoot of that tunnel. That yes. Right. When when she looks when she looks to the right tunnel, it goes to the left. Yeah. For some reason, I had it backed up. I was thinking room was on the left. And then there's a tunnel on the left, and I was like, that's just going to get us to where we yeah. were. Can we see what's down the crack? The, the smaller? Uh, if there. you want to get closer and investigate, sure. Okay, I'll do that. Cool. What Careful, my child. <laughs> there's a hole in this wall. Stick your dick in it. I mean, it, it's not necessarily a hole. It's just like a very, very narrow passage. There's a narrow passage in this wall. <laughs> Do you think Romanos could have fit in there? <laughs> Come here, horse man. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, <laughs> fat jokes. <laughs> thick. Thick. Extra or just horse thick. jokes. Or just Romanos jokes. What'd you get, Seth? <laughs> oh. I got he forgot to roll. That's what he got. Yeah, I got a fourteen. 
Okay, so you kind of like stick your head down this little narrow passage and it seems like it opens up after about 15 feet or so um, into another room similar to the ones you guys have been in so far. Okay, I'm just going to keep following that. I'm going to go into that room. You're going to go through the narrow passage? Yep. Okay. So, so your ghost is right behind him. You can walk normally. And then I'm going to walk behind him. Yeah, well, you just walk normally behind him while Akmon turns like sideways and is kind of creeping slowly. <laughs> what about Mikros? I'm just uh, shuffling Mikros awkwardly. Mikros can't. He's just a little too white. Jonas! You're in charge yeah. of Mikros. Yeah. All right. Because you can turn sideways. Mikros can't. Come here, buddy. He would be oh, thicker that way. Yeah. Who all's going? Just me and Ekman right now. Jonos has Mikros. You cannot fit. Your horns would get in the way. Okay. You oh, guys stay it. with the pig. <laughs> okay. Pig? Who you call him a pig? Oh, oh I, no. I was... Oh, no, they called him a pig. They I call was... me <laughs> I was Mr. Pig! I was talking about, about Nicholas. For the party members not going down the crack. Uh, so it's Jonos, Mikros, and <laughs> crack. Yeah, they're not they're not getting the crack. Get inside the crack, guys. <laughs> crack is whack, yo. Anyway, so Jonos, Mikros, and Nicholas. Um, you guys go down to the to the right, and then it turns quickly to the left. Um, you guys see another narrow passage about 30 feet down. Is it similar to the one in the other room we were yes. just in? Slightly wider, but like, I think all three of you would fit, but it is still pretty narrow. Okay. You guys up for this? We're going Mikros? spelunking. You ready? Mikros? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow he sounds like Papa. The hold on, hold on, let me redo it. <laughs> Excellent. Alright, we. I, Jonas I leads the way down exactly the passage. exactly where it is on the fucking <laughs> Shield out. What? I'm uh, sorry, say that one more time. Um, I lead the way down the passage and shield out. Okay. So, you lead them through into a small circular room with a chest covered in or almost covered in just junk like broken pieces of furniture um, obviously like trash bones from someone's food scraps of like vegetables things like that and we're gonna cut back to the rest of the party so, Athos. Actually, Akmon, since you were in the lead, sorry, I will let you go first. So, I was just gonna say, out of character, yeah. I'm fucking terrified by what you just described. <laughs> Is it because of the cauldron? <laughs> it's because of a lot of things. <laughs> it's because reasons, okay? Because you're kind of yeah. a shithead. Dude. You ever played Dark Souls One? You just described. Oh god. <laughs> hey, uh, Seth, did you try getting good? Huh? Did you try getting good? Uh, yeah, I still suck ass. <laughs> he gets it. You just got a somersault roll, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, always. Never stop. Never your... stop. Don't even attack. Just keep doing it. He can't stop holding He stuff. can't lose if he doesn't get you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, anyway, Akmon. Um, you make your way into this next room. Akmon, once you get through this narrow passage and are able to turn and face forward fully, you find the circular room that you could see before. To your right is a chest with a lock on it, and ahead of you is a wall with a door. So, Akmon, um, yeah, that's what you see. Do I have detect magic? Yes. Um, I'm 
I'm gonna. Can I make an insight check on the chest? Like, I'm gonna move over to the chest. I'm gonna inspect it. Yeah. Uh, what are you trying to do with it? With your insight? I'm trying to inspect it to make sure that it's there's no like traps or like magic or mimics or mimics. <laughs> yes. Is it empty? <laughs> Is it, lick, is it licking its lips? It is not. <laughs> okay. Which way is the chain going? Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to inspect and see if there's any like traps around it. Yeah, go for it. Make your insight. What would I add to that? Because that was not a very good roll. <laughs> Whatever your insight is. Oh, I have an insight. Um, nine. Okay. All right. I mean... Even with a nine, it seems like a regular chest. Okay, can I try to pick the lock, or is that my turn? Oh, I mean, we're not in an initiative, so you're not limited necessarily by the six-second rule or anything. Yes, you can attempt to pick the lock, Mr. Level 1 Rogue. <laughs> I gotta I, use it. Since I'm a tinker, can I give him a health action? You absolutely can. Ooh. I got your help action. So, well, like, thanks, as you crouch down to this lock, you just feel, you don't see it, you feel Sergio's just, like, impose himself right in front of you. And he's just like, uh, you're doing it wrong. <sighs> see, I was more, like, wanting to, like, he's crouched down, so he's my height, so I just go up and put a hand on his shoulder. Yeah, it's our ghost moment. Yeah. Sure. And uh Oh wait, that's dirty dancing. Hey, the time of my life. That is a And then Nate. Sorry Nate, we're trying to get you back. Oh yeah. What do I add to that? Is it sleight of hand? Yeah, it's sleight of hand. I guess that's a fifteen when I had the Oklahoma poisoning. <laughs> it's all what, sorry. The fifteen? Yeah. You unlock it. Cool. <laughs> hey guys, there's a chest here. What's inside? Alright, so you open it, and inside, there's just some like. Oh, oh, oh. A dog in here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm still grumpy about it. Yeah, always. She's always grumpy. Goddamn kids running up and down the goddamn <laughs> middle, <right? laughs> Pretty much. Since she was two. That's when I got her. That is definitely, she is like the Clint Eastwood of dogs in Grand Tree. <laughs> okay, so you open this chest, and initially, you just see a lot of, like, what seems like non-valuable junk. Um, just, like, knickknacks, little porcelain dolls. But you <laughs> notice... Smash them. <laughs> you notice uh, some leather at the very bottom. Brought to you by my husband. Sorry, I didn't help myself. <laughs> yeah, that's valid. <laughs> I'd like to examine the leather. Oh, I got a net 20. It seems to have a maker's mark from <laughs> Bunkhouse Bone. Anyway. For all your beating leather. Akmon, what are you doing? Um, so I'm going to sift through these porcelain dolls, and as Sergio suggested, I'm going to crush every single one of them. <laughs> Thank you. Akmon's just like, these are creepy. I don't like them. Yeah. This threat <laughs> level is very high. <laughs> this Let me my way over to him. And just observe him destroying these dolls. Okay. That's it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you, you crush... There were only, like, four of them. Just gonna let it happen. And then just a bunch of other, like, random stuff. like. And so then the, gonna, the leather. I'm gonna pull the leather out. Is it, like, a shirt or something? Well, you can't tell. You can only see a piece of it. So you pull it out, and it appears to be a pouch. Of some sort. With, with designs on it. Can I sense magic? You can, can detect I... magic. 
Uh, I will detect magic. It is magical. Ooh. Okay. What what <laughs> school of magic is it? Uh, you see a faint aura around any visible creature or object in an area that bears magic, and you learn its school of magic, if any. Um, I would, without looking, I'm just going to guess enchantment. Okay. Hey, guys, I found a magic bag. I'm going to stick my arm down it. No! <laughs> Stop! So you stick your arm in it, and as you're just feeling around, it just, it you feel like a lot of random stuff. You feel like jacks, and you feel something sticky. Is it gum? <laughs> no. Okay. There's something sticky in his ball, in his sack. In these balls? In these balls. <laughs> sticky sack. We know, we've yeah. seen your children, so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so there, there's something sticky in there, and then you feel like, uh, in, in ancient Greece they were knuckle bones, but like jacks, like the children's game. Um, and yeah, that, that's about it. I finally get a chance to fucking use this, and I'm so excited. I want to use my artificial... Artificer's lore. Okay. So do a history check, and I get an advantage on history on magic-related items. Okay. So. That's a negative one. So that's a fifteen. Okay. It appears with a fifteen to be a bag of holding. Yes, that's what I thought it was. But you notice it has some different markings than you're used to seeing on a bag of holding. Okay. Um, do you do anything else to inspect it? I mean, there's not much I can do outside of artificials. Artificial. You could still inspect. You could, like, okay, so yeah, look inside of You could be like, Akmon, can I look inside of it and all that. Actually. Realistically, you're small enough you could climb inside of it. Potentially. Or at least, like, halfway. Dangerous. You could stick your head in it. I guess, yeah, I'll stick my head in it real quick. Yeah. So, let's see. If I'm three foot, I'm probably like, what, 30 pounds? And you get, what's the back, what's the rule with the back of holding? Uh, I want to say like 50 ish. We'll say 50. 50. Like yeah. minutes. Oh, here. minutes, minutes. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So, 50 pounds. Um, I mean, you, you've got plenty of time. You could stick your head in it easily. Okay, yeah. I'm and look around. Ahead. Yeah. I'll stick my head in it. I heard Sergio say that, and I just put the bag over his head. Like, do you put it over all of him, or just his head? Well, he said, I think I'll stick my head in it, so I just flip it over, and I stick his head in it. Okay, just just making sure. Yeah, I already rolled, because I had the afterthought of, maybe I'll just ask him to pour it out, but too late, I committed, I got a 13. Well, and since he sticks it over your yeah. head, you now have something sticky on you. And all of the jacks <laughs> are like in your face. Because obviously so, like, he's holding it, so like. So, like, you could say that I'm Jean Claude Van Damme's knuckles in that movie where he dips them in the wax and then sticks shit to him, and it's not blood sport. No, that's that's way more badass so, than what happened to you. Okay. You so have, I don't quest? I you, don't have a bunch of jacks just stuck to my face. I, you, you do. Okay. But with honey. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. You you realize very quickly that is spoof. what the sticky thing is. There's a spoof of that. Where he sticks his, like, honey, and then he sticks it in fucking sprinkles. I have no idea. Anyway, but you have honey now, and then Jack's stuck to your face. And okay. looking inside of it, you notice it seems to be bigger than any bag of holding. Okay. About twice the size Ooh. than you've ever seen. Would you be able to say that I deduce that maybe the enchantment on it is what is making it double, or no? As far as you can tell, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's hard to say so, without, you know, doing more. I'm going to swat at Ackman to get... Ackman to get the bag off my face. Rub it. Rub it. The robot's vaping. Um, so as... He puts that on. Or it looked like vape, I don't know. I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah. It was vape. It's a, it a funny vape. 
So I'm going to turn to the party and tell them what I found. The left-handed bait. Yeah. <laughs> Jinky out, bait. <laughs> so basically going to tell my group that's with me what I found yeah. and tell Akman. Akman. Ak- Robot. Akman. Akman. Yeah. Yeah. Akmanon. Yeah, boss. Go ahead and put that in your chest compartment. And we're going to hang on to that. This it. could be could be of use later. So, Akmon, you... Bef- what? Go ahead. Before I put it in my chest compartment, can I pull the jacks out? Do they... They're stuck to Sergio's face. Yeah, they're all on my face, man. Oh. Yeah, that, as soon as you take the bag off his head, you just see this, like, amber-colored liquid just coating his face, and Jack's covering his honey. Is the ball there? No, that's just at his face. Just, like, looking that's physically fair. at this... <laughs> Going on Sergios is not pleased about this. Like his Shakira <laughs> hair is all like stuck to his head. Yeah. What were you saying, Akman? Oh, nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So you could say that Sergios is not on tonight after that bag came off his head. His, your his, hips do lie. They as could this lie. is just gonna look at him and be like, "Are you trying out some new hair gel, bud?" <laughs> Sergio she's kind of dumb, so she probably doesn't this. even know the difference between hair gel and honey. No. That's fair. Okay, so... Ooh, actually, Sergio runs up to Athos. Athos, you have a mane, right? No. Not really. Fuck. Just fur. Female lion. Female lion. Just fur. Female lions don't have manes. I was gonna give her a full hawk. You must be talking about my brother. Yeah. Athos. That's canon now. And Porthos and Aramis. No. <laughs> anyway, this Athos works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, three musketeers. <laughs> Do you have a brother named D'Artagnan by chance? His name was actually Cerulean. <laughs> Never mind the fact that I just said all of their names, but okay, yeah. I, I had to throw in D'Artagnan. You didn't name. say D'Artagnan. He's the fourth musketeer. I would say. The Disney one is the best. Oh, yeah, with Kiefer so Southern. Yeah. yeah. I want to hear that whistling. I from the Queen of America. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> We're going to cut back to the other group for a minute because <laughs> I just realized it's been a solid while without <laughs> talking to them. So, Jonas. Yeah, and Mikros. So, Nicholas, Mikros, and I enter this round and this round room at the end of the passage yep and it it's torn apart and has a chest in it i mean i don't know if torn apart apart is the correct word for it but there's a pile of junk for sure pile of junk um can we i'm gonna roll for perception to see if anything looks too strangely out of place. I should really know. Um, actually, roll an investigation. Investigation. Oh. <laughs> Nine. Okay, so you don't really find anything of note other than the chest. Other than the chest? Yep. Can I tell if it's locked or can I. You would have to move up? the stuff. Oh, I have to move the stuff off of it? Yeah. Um, like, you kind of sift through it, but, like, nothing really stands out other than the chest without moving a lot of stuff. Okay. Is it heavy stuff or just junk? Just junk. Just junk? Okay, I yeah. want to cast Mage Hands. Okay. And use that action to just move some of the stuff with the Mage Hand. Okay. It, it can't lift anything very heavy, so you're just... Scooping stuff Scoot. with his mage hand, <laughs> and then putting it in piles. And after about a minute, you are able to see this chest, and it does not appear to be locked. Okay. Can the hand open it? How long does the spell last? Just a minute. Then no. Okay. Damn, you All had right. every chance to say, oh, a minute and five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Way 
way to be I mean, like, a trooper. Mm. It's a, it's it's a cantrip. That's a, you can. Yeah, I can recast it as a cantrip. And, yeah, but sure. oh, we're not an initiative. I guess I'm not. Don't have to use just one action. Yeah, I mean um, you can you can recast it though. It's a cantrip, so it doesn't take a spell slot. Yeah, I'll recast it and open the chest if I can. Yeah, so you use it to open the chest, and um, it opens. It opens. What can I? I walk closer. What can I see inside? Okay, so inside of it, you find a plain brown cloth pouch. And that's it. Hmm. And that's the only thing inside? Yep. Good. Nicholas, that's just a brown patch of leather inside. That's really strange. Pouch. 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 Does it look... Oh. No. Uh, After our last uh, experience with random stuff, I don't think we should open it. <laughs> well, anyway. I think you're right, but... Um, I, I, I'm pretty curious about why there's only this one thing in there, so I, I pick it up. You pick it up? With my, when I pick it up, personally. Okay. Do you and, open it? Huh? Do you open it? Um, can I cast Identify on it? It's a cloth pouch. It's a cloth pouch? Yes. So it's nothing, nothing special about it, I can tell. It's not magical. It is a cloth pouch. <laughs> okay. Then I open it. Okay. Inside of it, uh, it takes you a little while to count it, but there is 500 gold. Ooh. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that pouch wasn't empty. Does she say that out loud? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he, he says that out loud, yeah. I'll just say yeah. that out Yeah. Yeah, Jonas... You know those curses, pretty loud. <laughs> Nicholas, Mikros is cold in is here. completely offended. Like <laughs> fucking Poseidon. I hold it. I hold the gold-filled leather pouch down so Mikros can sniff at it. Mikros is looking at you with such judging eyes because you've never cursed before. So he's a little <laughs> thrown off by your actions of like, like it's like. When you wake up and your friend is like, hey, does this shirt smell dirty before you've had a cup of coffee? So Mikros is like, does this shirt smell like chloroform? Yeah. <laughs> it's cloth, it's not leather. Yeah. Fucking what? Trevor did That's, that. To I, me I've said time. it several times. And we almost got into a fight. Probably chloroform? chloroform? Yeah. No. But he come up to me. Trevor doesn't have a sense of smell. And oh, he's like, no, I hey, does this shirt smell dirty? And just stuck it in my face before, like, I yeah. had even woken up completely. And I was like, get the fuck out of my face. Smell? In, in Jonas' defense, okay. he's from the ocean, right? He may not know what the difference between cloth and leather is. Well, that's that's true. Hmm. Although, Jonas definitely has a shark skin leather armor. We had... Yeah, I mean, I have <laughs> a bunch okay, of a bunch of leather skin leather pouches and armor and stuff, but uh, no. yeah, I just didn't hear you say leather. I mean, I heard you. I just wanted to see your face. You're gonna fight the right leather, leather worker. Cloth. I just wanted to see your face because I knew yeah. that would get a reaction. Yeah, it's cloth. <laughs> okay. Cloth. I knew if I I knew if I said something controversial and got that's brave it. Let's enough. Go. This is it. I'm done with your shit tonight. <laughs> so that's where we're gonna end the session. Right. Fuck you, DM. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Nicholas is next or Mikros? Well, I mean, Nicholas, right, are you, you Nicholas? Are you doing anything? Uh, I had something and I lost it. Story of your life. I say jokingly, hey, you want to split some of that? <laughs> For Negros sure. Mikros is definitely we'll shooting. Split it. Between the party. Into Nicholas of like. I was not actually expecting that answer, but alright. <laughs> Fair enough. Mikros like nuzzles up to Jonas and is like. Uh, oh, and, like, we can buy you lots of treats just, with this, can't he's we? He's gesturing over to Nicholas like. Mikros is sitting over there, he's like. <laughs> Okay, we are cutting back to Robot and Company. Keep, 
Keep in mind, I have no idea if anyone else has the bond like Sergio's and Migros to where they understand each other, so... Absolutely. I don't know if any of you understand <laughs> what I'm explaining out loud. Yeah, any of you ham potters, do you speak pig? Alright, so, Ackman and Company. Yeah. Natural 91, and then do you speak pig? Yeah. <laughs> Those are... First two shirts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ackman, we're back to you and your people. It's our expedition. Yeah. Bruno is belonging. What do you mean? <laughs> you people. You what? people. Yeah, what do you mean, you people? DM. Hello. So, when you walked through the crack, <laughs> to your right was the chest. Straight ahead was the wall with the door. So, I guess we're we'll, gonna head to the door and just try to open it. Alright, the door is locked. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to pick the lock again. Okay. I'll give him the help action. Okay, so you get to vanish. Oh, cool. Sergios is in the corner thinking about Necros. Oh, fucking natural 20! Yeah! Nice! Alright, <laughs> so you just like. You Fonzie it. You just like. hit underneath the knob and it unlocks and just swings open. Nice. Hey guys, I think I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> hey baby, watch this. <laughs> Not that hard. Hey. So, Weezer plays as the door opens. <laughs> <laughs> I so, can dress like Buddy Holly. So, now that he's gone to piss, inside of the door, you see... Jeez, am I fucked? Go pee! No, no, it's no, I was gonna just go the whole thing. Now might be your best time. Yeah, you might is... have a lot of talking to do after Exactly, you get yeah, you just go. go. Mm -hmm. It her. might be better. We can go like, take care of it. Okay. I can tell a quick antidote. So, inside the door, we're gonna cut back to Jonas. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> Jonas! Is. There wasn't any other openings in this room, right? It was just. That's it, yeah. Ended. Just that room. Okay. Guys, I. Do you, Nicholas, can you see any other ways out of here? Or do you feel like we should just go back the same way? I can't see anything, so I'm. I think we should head back and try to join the other party, or at least meet them where we where we split. All right, I'm down with that. I'll follow you. Right. As the Akmon and Company opens this door with his Fonzie-like moves, inside you see two centaurs. One of which you recognize. The other looks unfamiliar. Both are bound, gagged, and seemingly unconscious. What? <laughs> What's your favorite food? Me? Uh, chicken. <laughs> One is obviously female. What it's not Romano. Awesome? The centaurs, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I could... <laughs> There's two similar centaurs. What's your favorite food? Yeah. Uh, Chicken. So, Romanos, roll a constitution check. Oof. This is your first roll of today, so. Jeez. Oh, uh, yeah, and it ain't gonna do me any good. Uh, yeah, that's a whole seven. <laughs> so, the female centaur starts to stir. Jonas. Okay, so, just as a quick reminder, there was, you guys went through the secret door where the crack was. There was still the hallway that you guys did not explore at all. Nope, it was straight ahead. You guys went through the secret door. No one went through that other hallway. Just as a reminder. So, what are you guys doing? Oh, we... Last I knew that Nicholas and I and Mikros headed back to the original round room where we split. 
John, what would you like to do? Well, uh, since we went back to where we started, and there was that hallway that we didn't explore, I vote go down there. Hey! Aren't you proud of me? I do I what am. you want. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, you go through the door, the secret door that you... You go back through the hidden door into the original hallway, which curves to the right. And then it, it makes a few zigzags, but nothing of note happens. So you just continue. Okay, so you make your way into a much larger room. In that room are bones covering the floor. Jonas, you're with Nicholas and Mikros. And you find a room, a larger room than any of the ones you've been in so far, with the floor covered in bones. I'm thinking that was a bad idea. Mikros <laughs> feels super uneasy. How, how did we end up here? This is... I don't like the looks of this. So what do you guys do? I'm fighting the urge not to pick up the skull and try to do this. Mikros is walking away. <laughs> So what do you do, Nicholas? Uh, yeah, I have a lovely bunch of them. Lucky what I found! Did you hear the little theory on that shit? About it being Mufasa's skull? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. well, I could see that. Well, because... Hyenas so, uh, yeah. Yeah. so hyenas don't eat uh, lion... Uh, they, like, made in, the, made in this little post to say, hyenas don't eat lion carcasses, but lions will eat other lion carcasses. <laughs> Interesting. And then whenever... Zazu's doing that, and then Scar's laying there, and he's got that skull. That's a lion skull, is you? Interesting. And I gotta go. And this, this is how we get sued by ends. Disney. This is where the session ends. I've gotta process this before we move forward. Emotionally. <laughs> yeah. It fucks you up. Yeah. No, it really does. Don't no. worry, guys. Zach's over here crying in the corner. <laughs> the female centaur starts to awaken. The obviously Romanos is still passed out. Um, I would like to make a perception check for something small that can be held in my hand and chucked at Romanos' head. Roll it with advantage. <laughs> oh, that's a nat 20, baby. Oh, yeah. You find, like, a sharp piece of glass. Ah! I would like to chuck it at Romanos' head. Okay. Roll. Just one. It's a an a, attack roll. He has to roll for damage. I'm <sighs> fucking pissed. On the fuck? Yeah. Shit rage. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to enter my frenzy. <laughs> no. Um, Can I just okay, so attack roll. Uh, that's just a ten. Okay, so he's unconscious. So with a ten, you manage. Romanos, you awaken with a searing pain in your temple, and oh, you reach up, I really and you're just like, to nail him right uh, between that. Ah, what, what in the hell was that? You pull out this piece of glass, and literally the uh, first thing you see when you open your eyes <laughs> is Sergio's. With a shit-eating grin going, hey, horse sticks awake. <laughs> you got that little image from the movie Popeye. Like when you... <laughs> It's been way too long since I've seen that movie. <laughs> I swear you little... <clears throat> and I try to get off and I'm just like, what the... You try to get off. Whoa. 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 We've already confirmed. You can't masturbate, so like... But, he's uh, trying to get off. Yeah, is he just... He, he pre-jacks. Is the female <laughs> centaur still there? Yeah. I want to put a set of manacles on her. So instantly I'm just like... He's like, whoa, it, 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 hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are these for? I'll, I will take them off as soon as I know I can trust you. I'm just instantly still in rage at Sergius. Just like, what the hell have you done to me, you little bastard? You're not tied to the wall. Your hands are just tied together. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I just go rushing up, up, up to uh, up to him, you know, and just instantly knee him with, uh, with my fr uh, front hoof, you know, uh, front hoof. Roll your attack. Okay. That's a 19. Did it land in the basket? And actually, since that's a strength, though, that's a 22. Ooh. So, do I get a post rank? 
No, because he's attacking you. Definitely hits with a 22. So roll a 1d6. Uh, it's only a 2. Okay, so you take 2. But don't take it off of your regular HP. Add a like minus 2 to the side. Because it's God damn it. not actual damage. It's like... Okay. Do I need to write something? Cool Do I need to write something? With yeah. the manacles on the female centaur. Uh-huh. Since clearly their hoofs aren't bound, okay. and this is the cowboy in me, can we make it canon that the manacles, I'm guessing, are like handcuffs? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> can they be hollows? So, for Do one I thing... Do I have to explain so, what those are? No, I, I know what okay. you're talking about. So, I, I did not specify that they were hobbled, but they are. As I'm just still huffing and puffing in, you know, rage, you know? Yeah. The soldier in me just still kind of just starts looking around, just like, alright, come down, da- uh, calm down, numb nuts, you know, look right. around, so... I guess Situational I, awareness. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I need to roll, like, perception or right to see what mm-hmm. the fuck's going on. Or insight. I will do insight. <laughs> You're what? Yeah, 15. Right. Okay. Not that Sergios would necessarily know this, but they're not super professionally hobbled. It's not, like, how you would hobble a horse. As I start, you know, I, I, I'm still pretty mad, right. but, you know, knowing me, I'm just, like, looking around, you know, as with that 15, I'm just yeah. looking around, seeing what the heck is going uh, going on. Do I notice everyone, you know, or Yeah, you, kind of... you notice several of your party members. You see that two are missing. Okay. Um, it is a neat. Okay. So, yeah, you, you notice all but two. Mm-hmm. Jonas and Nicholas are missing. Um... And then you you kind of start to come to I, your mm-hmm. your rage kind of distracted you. Mm-hmm. I just would like to go over to Romanos and try to untie him. So you've got plenty of time, but okay. you you keep the other one manacled. Yeah, the other one I want to remain manacled until I know if we can trust her or not. Okay, so where did you manacle her though? On uh, one of her front hooves and one of her back hooves. Not the front ones or the back ones. Yeah, one, one of, of each. Yeah. Back to Jonas and Nicholas real quick. I'm going to enter the room, but do I see if there might be a doorway like straight across from this on the side or anything? Uh, there is a door to the right. On okay, the right so wall. I'll tell the group, hey guys. But yeah, there's only one other person. There's not right. really a group. And Mikros. Who's Mikros? Person. Mikros. One other person. Well, I noticed the little guy had some character to him, so I was talking to both of them. So, hey guys, there's a door to the right. Other than that, I want to get the hell out of this place. Alright, we'll go as quickly as possible. Okay, uh, I need you both. Zach, I need you to roll for Mikros. So, all three of you, that's already check. I got an 11. Okay. I could have been a real shit bag, but I decided not to. Because when my dice be. fell out of my hands, it was a 17, and then I was like, mm. Yeah. Okay, so, all three of you. Mikros, Nicholas, and Jonas. You start to cross this room, and about halfway through, you feel hands reach up and grab at your ankles. Oh, yeah. And as you all look down, bony hands reach up, and you see skeletal faces attached to these hands that are just holding on to you. And we're going to come back to the rest of the group. What is everyone doing? Romano, I'm going to let you go first. You haven't had a chance to do much. Okay, so I'm just uh, looking around and... You've been uh, freed from your... I look over to over to her and I'm just like, what is going on? Because I clearly, you know, I trust her yeah. a little bit more compared to the, the, the little, yeah. <laughs> little fucker. Rude. I was going to ask you about this and I glance over at the female that's still bound. Uh, Romano, yeah. you remember waking in the middle of the night to the sound of music and being lured to this cabin by women's voices. But you don't remember anything after coming inside of the house. To be honest, everything's a little fuzzy. As of right now, I don't even know if it was a dream or not. But I literally just, I guess I was drawn to it like uh, like the sirens would be on the oceans. Though I've never heard them, 
that's all I can compare it to. Though, to be honest, it's still very fuzzy in my head. It almost seems like a dream to me. So when Athos looks at the female centaur, I want to do an intimidation check and basically be like, Yeah, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> okay. As for her, I have no clue who she is. Do I know her somehow? Or... Uh, you really don't have much memory right now. All right. With a nine, you're like, ah, it's still fuzzy. So you're, you're not really sure. Um, as time goes on, I'll let you continue to make checks, wisdom checks to see if you remember any more. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm going to look at Romanus and be like, I believe you. You're a good guy. And then I'm going to look over at, uh... Seth, did you just laugh at that? Probably. Um, thank you. That's pretty thank much you. how, how Athos would it. fucking talk. Um, so... And then I'm gonna look over at the female centaur and be like, what is your business here? So... What do I... Do I need to roll for that, or...? I mean, are you trying to do anything with it? Uh... I'm always trying to... I don't know, can I try to intimidate her? You can try, yeah. Yeah, let's try that. Can I help her? Yeah, you can give her the help action. What are you saying, Akmon? I'm saying... I tell her the truth! I've seen that big ass battle axe of hers. She can pretty much swing it pretty hard. <laughs> we got seven. She said, ah, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa. We don't need to get any axes involved. I'm just here, well, really, I don't know why I'm here, to be honest. I just play music, and I woke up here I don't really remember. Sergio looks there. Hmm, play music, huh? Because my boy just said music got him over here. So, um, want to explain that shit? I'm tied up with him. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Are you a witch? You can't lie to me. You have to tell me if you're a witch. The law states it. She holds up her manacles. Do I look like a fucking witch? If I was a witch, I would have blown you away. Oh, you can blow me. But not away. She's like, as soon as I get out of these manacles, so I'm kicking right? so fucking hard. Can I can I look at her and be like, if I undo your manacles I put on there, will you help us until we get out of this wretched place? And and also not kick me. But but that And also that. not kick the small one. Thanks. She's like, ah well you You're asking too much now. I look at her. <laughs> I simply look at her and I'm just like, no, kick the small one. He's tougher <laughs> than he looks. Wow, so she, glad to see you getting caught by whatever the fuck caught you didn't dampen your spirits, horse dick. <laughs> she looks to you, Athos, and says, I like this guy. <laughs> Great, now we got two So she says, days. do we have a deal? She says, I swear on Dionysus that I am telling the truth. And I'm going to kick that little fucker. Do not do any lethal damage. He is of use to us. Do no, it. I'm not gonna kill him. I'm gonna hurt him. I'm not gonna kill him. Maybe. And then I looked her straight in the eye, and I, I undo her manacles, but never break eyesight with her. Mm -hmm. And I don't even blink. Okay. And I'm like, there. She says, oh, I appreciate it. Sorry, but I have to say it when you said not break eye, and you paused, and then said eyesight, all I could think about was the ringer eye contact. <laughs> so, as you undo her manacles, she says, Ah, oh, thank you. Name's Reneus. I'm a bard by trade. It's a pleasure to meet you, I think. It is all your pleasure. Hmm. Well, see if I can't change that other thing. So, Back to Jonas and group. What are you guys doing? You are grabbed by the ankles by skeletons. I shout to Mikros and say, Buddy, save yourself if you can and give him an inspiration die or whatever he chooses. Oh, and I want to use my action to try to grab my trident and stab at these things. Okay. Grabbing my ankles. Yeah, make an attack roll. A 
the 20, the dirty 20. Yeah, that'll hit. To hit. Three right. damage. Okay, so you stab your trident down at these skeletal hands, and as you pierce the rib cage, you just hear, Aah! and it lets go. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> uh, we're, we're in initiative, right? So. Mm, yeah, kind of. We'll okay. See. So I uh, move closer to Mikros, however fast that is. It's your normal speed. My normal speed? Okay. I don't know how, I mean, however far that is, sorry. Um, I move over toward him and okay. prepare to, to help him the next time I get a turn. Mikros is going to go ahead and try to attack after watching Jonos. So yeah. he's going to try to attack the okay. skeleton holding him. That's a 15 plus 2, 17 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. 1d6. Well, that's a 4. Yeah. Plus 1, so that's 5. So he gets a, a similar reaction. Ah! Oh, Mikro shags ass out of this room. <laughs> like, I, I guess I can't dash because I used... Yeah, you can still run. Though. Oh, yeah. Straight full up, speed. full speed out of here. Cool. He makes it to the edge of the bounce. Nicholas? I'm going to take the one that's got a hold of me, too. Try cool. The same thing. What are you taking with? My short sword. Okay. Your Cobus. <laughs> I have been trying to find a way to work uh, Copus uh, in this whole episode. You've said it a couple times. Once an episode. Yeah. No, not this episode. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Oh, I did? Alright. Yeah, the robot agrees. Is your hammer or your Copus? Oh, that, thank you. Well, John. Thanks, Forged and Fire. Okay, plus six, so that's eight. That'll hit. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> because uh, it's a an immobile skeleton that you're basically standing on top of. Yeah, that'll hit. <laughs> I thought I was dead. <laughs> it just grabbed your ankles. <laughs> if I missed, it can pull Nicholas is the most dramatic minotaur. <laughs> oh, I love it. I Dude, love it. Okay, so just I want to make this canon. I know he said he had dark fur, but I feel that uh, has he got a yellow belly? No. He has like tan fur because he is the most dramatic fucking minotaur I've ever met that he's fucking cow side of his minotaur is a fucking jersey because I swear to god jersey cattle like if you look at them wrong they're like oh jersey sick. Dick. it wasn't about you anyway that is six damage cool so you actually just like swing your short sword down and you shatter that skeleton's skull, and it doesn't even scream. It Hell just yeah. lets go. Completely silent. I'm out of the room, baby. Cool. Jonas, are you leaving the room too? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Mikros is just looking at oh <laughs> the way we came to get to the fucking tunnel where he can't fit through. The way you came? Because that's backwards. The other way. We're trying to go forward. Why the fuck would we go forward? Didn't we? Weren't we? They were halfway through the skeleton room. They continued along the rest yeah. of the way. Mikros, like, thinking as a pig, wants to go back to where he last saw Sergio's. So he, like, kind of circles back for a second before he takes off. And then he's like, no, I better go forward. Okay. So... Like, not trying to metagame, but... Mikros wants to get back to Sergio's because yeah. it has not been a pleasant journey for right. him. But, I mean, it's pretty clear. Mikros may not be an awakened animal, but he's smart enough to know, like, clearly they're trying to get through. Right. So he's just continuing along. Um, so, you guys make it to an open doorway where actually the door is, like, busted a little bit and hanging loose. Shaka, brah. Yeah. Hang on, check your breath. Um, and on the other side of the busted out door, you see the rest of the party. Oh, so, thank fucking God. Jonas and Nicholas, you have rejoined the rest of the party. <laughs> Migros runs and full on tackles Sergio's. <laughs> after the ordeal. <laughs> He's like, 
So, Reneus says, You know, actually, it's starting to come back to me. There were some witches. And I think they're the ones who lured us here. We'll end it there. Thanks, Seth. I know you gotta go. I like how Thanks, I'm guys. looking for these witches, and then they're just being oh, yeah, the ass. Peace Thanks. out, Girl Scout. Bye-bye. Thank you all for joining us on Episode 8 of Hammer of the Gods. We really appreciate your continued support, both by listening and by following and interacting with us on social media. And we just want to give a quick shout out to a few of our friends and and content creators who we just really appreciate. First up is at Bunkhouse Bum. I'm sure you guys have heard, if you've listened to any of our other episodes, that is Zach's business. He had been taking kind of a, a hiatus for a little bit due to some life changes and moving, but feel free to still give him a follow and a DM for any kind of commissions. Up next is Desired Effect Dice, who has been fantastic to work with. Uh, just super friendly, really makes great dice. I bought a set myself. And then if you follow us on Instagram, I'm sure you've seen that we are doing a giveaway. By the time this episode is posted, it will probably already be over, but definitely keep following us and keep your eyes open because we will be doing another giveaway at some point. TBD. Uh, also, a really cool dice maker we have become pretty good friends with is Crit Hit Creations, who works with Desired Effect Dice quite a bit on coming up with new ideas and, and just all around has been really cool to get to know better. And last but not least, are our friends at Geckos and Grottos. They're D&D-ish podcast, and I say ish, that's how they describe it themselves, because they uh, are much more of an improv kind of a podcast than a true actual play. But uh, they're just really cool people, and honestly, their their podcast is a trip. <laughs> so definitely go check them out. Anyway, thanks everyone.